Suburbanization and immigration have combined in recent decades to dramatically transform the metropolitan United States. These demographic forces are nothing new, but immigrants now often bypass large cities and settle directly in the metropolitan periphery. In 1980, roughly equal numbers of immigrants resided in the cities and suburbs, but by 2010, over half of the U.S. foreign-born population was located in suburbs of large metropolitan areas, and only one-third resided in cities. As community leaders of Gwinnett County, you already know immigrants have made this the most diverse county in the South, where one in four neighbors has been born abroad. You also recognize that as immigration-driven diversity has increased, political tensions and imbalances of power have emerged, with serious implications on immigrants' ability to integrate into our community. For instance, we see spatial segregation due to immigrants clustering in certain neighborhoods, primarily those surrounding Norcross. In addition, immigrants in Gwinnett have continued to experience significant social and political segregation, such as inadequate support for English language learners in schools, discriminatory language laws, labor regulations, and lack of descriptive representation. Based on its size and role in the local economy, Gwinnett's immigrant community should have greater political power to promote integration and deter xenophobic policies. The recent case of Plaza Latina demonstrates how immigrant groups have been unable to leverage their social capital for political power, failing to stop local government from seizing a popular Hispanic shopping center via eminent domain. The civil rights era provides us insight on how African Americans combated pervasive discrimination and segregation by organizing and mobilizing power. For suburban newcomers, a similar strategy and consistent actions to build power need to happen by strengthening the bonds between communities and expanding the connections or bridges to other immigrant and non-immigrant populations. First, acknowledge your influence by documenting your economic and voting power resources, and the networks already existing in immigrant communities. Second, connect to other communities by learning about their history, identifying shared interests, and setting the stage for collaboration. Third, turn strong business leadership into political power by being vocal about immigrant concerns, clarifying misconceptions and missed opportunities, and taking record of officials who support immigrant integration. Finally, deploy a well-organized coalition to demand integration reforms and inclusion into the county's governing coalition and decision-making process. This process will help immigrants convert their hidden power into more visible power while increasing the capacity and confidence of the immigrant community to expand its political power.